Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, right. Thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, in the world of Corvettes, this is a pretty expensive car when it's brand new, circa 1966. And the reason I say that is there is a lot, a lot of features and options on this car. Uh, for instance, like when you look at the car, you go, wow, that is a great looking car. But you don't know why it's a great looking car. And in your mind, you go, that looks great. That's a good, whatever. All this stuff that puts it all together that makes it a great car. Let me point out a couple things for you real quick. First off, this is an original rally red car. A red 66 Corvette is a pretty cool car to begin with, right? Throw in the knockoff wheels, right? They're very expensive. Look up a set online, throw in red line radial tires. You can spend four to five grand just for this setup with the tires, wheels, mounting, balancing, shipping, all the stuff that goes on there. Side pipes, side pipes add to the muscularity of the car, not to mention they sound spectacular. You also clean up the rear end of the car as well because you don't have the holes where the tailpipes would come out. And as we keep rolling, 350 horsepower car. So this is the higher horsepower car, it's not the standard horsepower, right? This has a four speed in it, not a three speed. You say, well, of course it has a four speed in it, not a three speed. Well, no, most people don't know that the Corvette came standard with a three speed transmission, all right? And the reason I know that is because I bought one one time years ago and didn't ask that question and that's how that happened, all right? So standard is a three speed, four speed is not standard on these cars. This car has a four speed in it with the 350 horse. Yes, you had to get uh, the higher uh, transmissions with the higher horsepower cars, but I just want to let you know, a regular Corvette didn't come standard with a four-speed, which is kind of a cool uh, feat. All right, so let's talk about paint real quick. Come on up here, and let's talk about this. This is what you should be getting from the people that you're looking at online on these cars. Can you read those words nice and clear? This is the kind of car, if you want to go to a show, you could do that. You want to go to the winery and not show anybody, you could do that as well. You want to go out to Saturday night to dinner. Imagine the difference in dinner Saturday night going and pulling this car up, and the valet puts this right out front and pushes the Porsche around the side. I love Porsches too, but this car is definitely gonna be parked out front because you know what? This is America, man. This is Americana. This is an icon. This is the original American Idol. All right, so uh, as we talk about all the options and things like that on the car, we talked about the side pipes and the wheels. We haven't even got to all of the other accoutrements that come with it, okay? Uh, here we got this hard top here, all nicely finished inside, okay? Beautifully done. Right? And what's nice about that too is that this changes the whole look of the car because when the top's up this still looks like a convertible which I love but in the winter time if you wanted a completely different look and a completely different car because I'm hoping that you'll drive this car in the winter not in the snow or the salt or the rain but there's still great days in the winter right this car the heat works and all that stuff so that you can enjoy this car remember somebody drove this car as well in the winter back in the day and there's no reason why you shouldn't enjoy it as well so come back here and I want to just show a little bit about the style real quick and the detail and finish. Like this piece here is new. The bumpers are all new and re-chromed. Uh, the emblems are all done. Look under here, look how beautifully restored it is underneath the car. You can see everything in the mirror finish of our floor, which is nice looking too, I might add. But also it's a great looking car underneath and it's nice that you can take it. And where that, what I mean by that is, the underneath of the car has a lot to do with how well it drives. And when it drives well, right, that makes for a great car. It can be shiny on top and not drive well because they didn't spend the time underneath. That's not the case with this car here. It really drives nice. All right, so as we come on over here, let's take a peek at authenticity and show quality things. All right, so come on over here. Ignition shielding in place, check. Correct valve covers in place, check. 350 horsepower callouts, check. Correct fuel line, fuel pump, these pieces here, tower clamps, right? Harrison radiator overflow tank there. Battery topper, right? Harrison radiator here with the correct dates on it, 66C, that right there with the stamping on it. GM hoses with the tower clamps. You may say to yourself, well, I don't really understand all that stuff, nor do I even care to. Well, you're right, you don't need to care to, but what you do need to care to is this, you need to care about this. This is one of those kinds of things where you could drive a car and it's investment grade. Some appreciate more than others, some do not. In the case of this car here, with it being correct, with it being matching numbers, with it being restored authentically, right? It's typically gonna go up in value faster than cars that haven't had that done because they're going to need to invest that money to bring it up to this level. All right, so what I wanted to show you real quick was how quick and easy it is to put the top up. And look how great this car looks with a white top, man. I love white top. That goes like that. You would just snap this right in place, boom, and you're ready to go. Super, super easy. You get caught in the bad weather, not a big deal. This car has wipers, it has a defroster, it has all of those things that would make it a car that you could drive on a regular basis, all right? 
Let's say you want to keep the top up and the windows up because you don't want the interior to get dirty while you're at work. Boom, you undo the latches real quick. Come over here, snap those two. And check out how much room is back here, all right? This right here, this is a good sign because this came with, all right, this came with the car. And the reason why that came with the car is because this, right, this is actually supposed to go in between here. And you say, well, why is that a good idea that it came with the car? Well, because that's what the owner gave us with the car, so it means that he cared a little bit more than other people. This keeps the plastic from rubbing together, and that's how you get the yellowing of the plastic. Most people don't know that. That this, while you're driving, gives you all those scratches and things like that. Yellowing is to age, but the scratches on there is from it rubbing them back and forth of each other. This is easy where it tucks right down inside here like so. Close the lid. Get in the car. I think you slide across like this. Jump in the seat, throw it in gear, rolling down the road. All right, so come on in here for a second. All right. Excuse me for a second while I take a little breather because this is where the sanctity is. This is the hard day at work. Look at, the, look at how nicely done the seats are. New foams, seat covers. This is all restored. The gauges are restored. Uh, even the clock works. Original style stereo still in place. This is a nice, nice, nice car, man. And when you fit in this car, it has the original style shifter instead of an upgraded Hurst shifter. This is the original style one. You can't even buy these anymore, right? Oh, interior is all done. This, this, right? When's the last time you got to do this? <laughs> is that so cool? The fact of the matter is, this really works well. When you're driving down the road, you don't really need AC or anything. We can install AC if you'd like, which is not a big deal. But this offers a lot of air. And look, look it. For when the seat folds all the way down, new carpet, new top. Some cars, you say, well, gosh, that car seems very expensive. You know what? I have a better idea. Go buy a car that's a high horsepower car like this and then get an estimate to restore one. And you'll find that uh, this right here, first off, is a significantly better deal. And secondly, you could drive this this weekend versus two years from now. All right, so we close up on this car. Listen, man, let's run over a couple quick highlights. Redline tires on the knockoff wheels, side pipes. Original Rally Red Car, correct coded 974, right? Matching numbers engine with 350 horse. You say, well, it's only 50 horsepower more than, uh, than the 300. I promise you, it says it's only 350 horse more, or 50 horsepower more. It's a whole lot more. It makes a whole lot of difference when you're going down the road. These cars are very light. You'd be very surprised compared to a regular muscle car why these cars are so fast. They are really, really light. There's not a lot to them, and they uh, just a little bit of horsepower increase makes a huge difference. Great looking white top. We looked at the hard top over here, right? That comes with it as well. This is a complete car, man. This is an investment grade car with all of these things that you're getting with it. We looked underneath the hood and it's a show quality under hood experience with the GM hoses and clamps and battery toppers and all the Harrison pieces that go in there. So anyway, I ramble on a little bit sometimes, but I get really excited about some cars because you can see the extra effort and detail that's gone into them. And this is exactly what that is. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this. 66 Corvette Roadster. I'm to fire it up for you just so you can hear it. And the great thing about side pipes, man, it's just enough sound. Not too loud, not too quiet. 